girlfriend Zoe's a nice guy. She lives to regret her decisions. Oh, come on, Darmon. I, I like your videos. They're hit and miss, but apparently this one had the aim of a stormtrooper. Hello, and welcome back to r slash nice guys. In my early 20s, I used to have a bunch of resentment towards the girls that weren't interested in me back in the day when I was into anime and rock music. I thought they just didn't like nice guys. And then I saw a pic of myself back then, and I was ugly as frick, looked musty, and had a silk dragon print button up. So yeah, my bad. Hey, dude, good for you on calling yourself out. The road to redemption starts with you admitting your own faults. Oh, I'm very sorry about that, dear, okay? I mean no harm to you, like seriously. I just wanted to know you better and become good friends, that's all. No thanks, bye. I promise never to hurt you. Please, I promise you, okay? Alrighty, I'm gonna show you my dong. Microscope ready. Ah, yes, what everybody likes seeing on their profile. Uh, tell me you like to cuddle. Not really, sorry, but I don't think we're really compatible, but good luck to you. Wow, I had no idea you can guess all that with one sentence. Okay, bye. I can guess it from your 99% butthole tagline. I can be 99% sweet, but that wasn't intended to be taken like that. You're so cute. Yep, and I'm still not interested. Neither am I, so kindly piss off. Thanks, babe. LOL. Okay. I took a look at your body pictures, didn't mean to message you, face is good though, good night. LOL K, a good read. LOL, yep, I'm fat, and I still told you to get lost, so what does it say about you? What is the worst reason someone has used to reject you? Legit, I was too nice. She thought that I was a creep for wishing her a good night every night, and that one time I sent her flowers to work. Really fricked me up. Bonus, someone said I was too short. I'm six feet tall, lol. I don't know what was wrong, I sent her flowers. She didn't tell me where she worked though, but I found it out, and I sent her some flowers but she didn't reciprocate that. It must be because I'm too nice. Six foot seven, geek, horror film fan, love photography, looking for someone loyal, funny, cheeky, who is genuine, who is worth the time I'd put in. I don't have any kids, but that also means I wouldn't not date someone who has them. I have a few tattoos and a beard, so if you don't like, then swipe away. If we match, please, can you actually talk instead of just being ignorant? I'm a nice guy, and that's time I finished first instead of last. I used to be the good guy, and then I got sick of always getting free friend zone, so here I am, now 19, addicted to jeweling, and am a thriving alcoholic, please help. You put yourself in this situation, and you neglect the nice guys that try to message you, you actually seem like a sweet girl, and I rarely kill her in the bedroom, but you shouldn't just go wild and abuse that, you should really settle down with someone and become a sensible, gorgeous girl you actually are. I put myself in a situation to be abused and insulted because I didn't reply to somebody? You put these messages things in your story? You basically telling people to say disgusting things. Okay, I admit it. I love you. I freaking love you. And it breaks my heart when I see you play with someone else or anyone commenting in your profile. I just want to be your boyfriend and put a heart in my profile linking you to your profile and have a wall text of you commenting cute things. I want to play video games, talk in Discord all night, and watch a movie together. But you just seem so uninterested in me. It freaking kills me and I can't take it anymore. I want to remove you, but I care too much about you, so please, I'm begging you to either love me back or remove me and never contact me again. It hurts so much to say this because I need you by my side, but if you don't love me, then I want to leave because seeing your icon in my friends list would kill me every day of my pathetic life. And no rest for the simpers. Dreamers don't grow on trees. Would you like to get together on Wednesday? Go for a nice walk or something? Actually, dude, I think I might not be a good idea. You seem super sweet, but I don't think I'm going to pursue this further. It's been great chatting with you, though. Any particular reasoning? You can be honest. I think it has a little to do with using pet names a little early on, but other than that, I think you're a super genuine guy. Interesting. Sorry, I guess that's just the European side of me, just how we do. But if that's the reason behind that, then that's on you. Thanks for the waste of time. You're lost, really. You're a buzz killer, babe. Don't call me any names. This is fine. Whatever. Just being friendly. You done being mad yet? I'm not mad. I just want you to use my name, that's all. Ugh, that's dumb. What? Do you not like when guys are nice to you? I could call you a wholesome, but I won't. Okay, I don't really care, dude. Good, because that's what you are. So you just aren't going to respond? I mean, I just don't care. Call me what you want. I don't want to get with you, bro. Freaking 
Barch, I talk nice to you for two days and you're just gonna blow me off like this? Yep, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Wow, how do you learn? Uh huh, I guess you only here to play. Uh, would you be hot as frick for a weekend? But yeah, you all go on look so on no point in a nice kind guy trying anything else, eh? Oh, and yeah, I'm the guy who pleases others before myself, not that you'll ever try me as you all like guys who can't satisfy, oh well, give up time I guess. Do you like someone else? I don't, so what if I do though, lol. Whatever, I thought you cared, but okay. Yes, I thought wrong. Sorry that I liked you, sorry that I cared. LMAO, what? Chill, we're not even dating though. Have a good one. Who would care about me anyways? LOL, I'm a clown. I was broken anyways. So you're saying it's impossible for me to have any skills in video games simply because I'm a girl? Sounds about right. Yeah, just go back to the kitchen where you belong. I'm sick of girls thinking they're all that for playing video games and being unique. Bro, you literally asked me if I play video games and proceeded to badger me with questions that I happen to know the answers to and then got frustrated because I'm not taking your shot. Also, you claim to have played Fortnite, which explains your maturity, by the way, since you were 12, but if you are 19 like you say you are, then that's impossible as it wasn't around that long. Hey, it's not me who's missing out here. I'm a really nice guy, and you don't deserve me. Have a nice life being alone, Barch. Hey, look, being alone is a lot better than being with you, you dummy. I like your hat, wholesome. Respectable woman of age. Sorry, my finger slipped. Hello, I noticed you are a woman who liked my post that actually seems very cool and interesting knowing you are a woman. Tips Fedora, please text back if you would like to date me. Uh, no, 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 you can't backpedal yourself out of this one. And really, finger slipped? I think your finger just fell down a whole flight of stairs. Best compliment. Wanna date? Thank you, lol, but I'm taken. I disagree. We're not given or taken. We choose in those directions. We learn who we really are. To shape who we are, we select the words that best describe our thoughts when we speak. In those unconscious moments, we run the risk to become what we speak. Happy stories make me smile. Thank you. Look, you can't apply big brain logic to everything. It doesn't work that way. I sometimes feel like a puppy. Everyone agrees I'm cute and fun to play with and cuddle with for a while, and I always love whoever plays and cuddles with me unconditionally. But I can't provide anything that a real grown dog can. And so I'm told to sit and wait like a good boy while the person who used to cuddle and play with me goes to find a bigger, stronger dog, which sometimes bites them, and then they come back to play and cuddle with the puppy who doesn't realize he's being used. You are a clant piece of shit. LMAO, well, whoever you are, you're randomly verbally abusing me from fake numbers, so I think I read it right with you. Big brave man to be insulting someone anonymously during a pandemic, such a barch move. I think I know who you are anyway, and I got this vibe from you, so no regrets whatsoever. Clint, I would do it if I wasn't blocked. You're a wholesome Clint, ha ha ha, bye Clint. How the frick does it work? Hey guys, I'm 22, not the ugliest man, not the most beautiful, and I just want to ask, how do you have to behave to get what I want to get from girls? Most of the time I get friend zones because I am quote unquote too nice. I think I too fast in talking about personal things of the women. How do I get the nudes? How do I get ons? I to reach the special zone in which I be perceived as not as a friend, but as an man they want. I'm sorry for my English skills. Maybe worry less about seeing them as objects. That's a start. I don't do this. I am really good in talking to girls and I had a lot of deep talks. If your only priority is to get what you want and how to get nudes, you sure did fool me. No, it is not the only thing I want. It's the only thing I am not able to get. I don't want to be friends, you dumb, worthless, wholesome. Think about how you make a guy feel when you send me teasy photos with your obese badongas out. Your boyfriend should hit you and you deserve it for treating guys like me like perpetual shot. Oh, you look at that edgy Snapchat. You have a big fan group of your pick in Germany. Like how you bite a little on your lip. I am really interested to see the rest of you. You look like a zombie, and you sound like the person that would see a zombie stripper and think, that ah, can't be that bad. Three reasons why most good guys are single. One, they had their heart broken in the past and don't want to risk it again. 
Two, girls see them just as friends, so they become friend-zoned. Three, they lack confidence because of things in the past that hurt them. Love the sun. Okay, if you do this, you are basically the Pokemon trainer that thinks the move Splash is effective. LOL, you know fun, LOL. I know you're just being yourself, but I don't really respond to overt displays and being gently bullied into sending dong pics. I'm not not fun for not responding or sending you a dong pic, I just don't want to. If you want dong pics and chats on tap, you're gonna have to look elsewhere, my man. I'm just not wired like that. For frick's sake, I'm playing, gently bullying, what shot? Okay, I thought we were gonna have fun and jokes, but obviously not. Sorry, man, I read this wrong. I'll leave you be. Have a good freaking life. Well, of course, because as soon as you leave, it's only up from there. A real life hack. Girls feel more attached to the type of guy who makes them wait and wait. In contrast, they look down at the guy who responds immediately. The source is the men's club's book, under the code of what girls deserve. This is subjective. I wish it's not, but that's the truth. I learned it the hard way because I'm the second type. I believe that is wrong. I much prefer the guy who will text me back quick and pay attention and not waste my time, so I believe it depends on the person. Wow, a woman who actually appreciates thoughtfulness. What planet was this filmed on again? Who hurt you? The real question is, who hasn't hurt me? I think you are so darn beautiful that it just melts my heart. I can feel the intimidation to the point I would be so shy in person. I can never just walk right up and openly talk to you for the first time. I hope more than anything in this world from these buttholes who made life so darn hard on everyone for no reason that you get to live a fulfilling life getting to and actually live instead of just surviving the next day and I truly mean that. I look forward for you achieving all of your life goals whatever they may be, a family, a dream career, traveling, or whatever you desire in life to achieve. I hope your day will get better from now on forward. Sincerely, Alex. Freaking boring Bart with poor decision making skills. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you want to be absolutely amazing and show your support for the channel, be sure to slam the like button. And if you have not already, subscribe. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.